Enterprise extensions build save time and resources by only building artifacts that have changed since the last successful build. In this video, we will demonstrate the 4.0 dependency build enhancements listed here. That's build report support and build subset support. The build view shows all the latest results for a build definition. Note that the last build shown here was successful. You can view the full build report by using the external links. Click the link to the build report that's available here. The build report lists all the built files and provides information about the source of the build, language definition, and other details. Note that the build report includes links to the associated build maps and other details. If you scroll down through the report, you see that the reason for building is explained at the bottom of the build report. In this example, a repository workspace is currently loaded. It contains the source code of the mortgage application sample, which is available on jazz.net. The My Work view allows you to see the list of work items to address. We're marking this work item as current. All of our changes will now be made in the context of this work item. You can see on the bottom right that work item number 182 is now the active work item. We will now change the source code of a COBOL program. After saving code changes, we check in the change set. The changes are checked in as a change set that's automatically associated to work item 182. You can use the compare editor to view the code change. Next, we'll demonstrate the process for requesting personal builds. We will request a personal build to ensure that the change can compile cleanly. The personal build options are specified in the request build dialog. We browse to the repository workspace where we checked in the changes. Selecting Perform Full Minimum Load forces all the changed source files and the required dependents to be loaded. When the build completes, we can check to see if there are any errors. On the build report, we can also verify that the changed files have been built. We can now safely deliver the change sets to the development stream. Now we can work on our next assigned task. We will change the source code of another COBOL program. After saving code changes, we check in the change set.
we are requesting another personal build. Note that the previous personal build options are preserved. Since no team build has been run, note that the last two changed files are built. To rebuild only the last change, we will create a build subset to limit the scope of the build. We will select the build definition that we are using. We can populate a build subset by selecting one or more work items. This is the standard work item selector. The list is deduced from the buildable files included in the associated change sets. We will select the build subset we just created when requesting another personal build. The build report lists the file that has been built in association with the build subset. Next we'll demonstrate how to request team builds. At this stage of the video, many code changes have just been delivered to the development stream and a team build can be run. We will request a build preview to see what will be built before we run the real build. The preview build report lists all the files that will be built during the next non-preview build. For the next team build, we want to build only the files related to a particular language definition. We will create a build subset for those programs only. In this case, we will use a language definition rule. You can select a specific language definition. The associated buildable file is listed. We can select the build subset that we just created. Only the buildable file in the scope of the build subset is built. You can also select a build subset when requesting a team build for quick needs. Thanks for watching our demonstration on Enterprise Extensions builds.